Hi, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Aaron. I do vlogs. Uh, today we're going to be vlogging a area of town. I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, so we're going to get this started. Um, we're going to a place called Timaquan Preserve. It's a historical um, nature preserve, among other things. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to go look at a old fort, and we're also going to uh, do some nature walks to see what we get into. Um, this will be a four-part series, and today is part one. So, yeah, hopefully you guys, if you guys like uh, tra you know, travel vlogs, um, nature vlogs, stuff like that, stay tuned. Um, and like today's video, and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're at the Timaquan Preserve here at Fort Caroline in Jacksonville, Florida. So uh, this area here is where you come in. You're going to walk up the steps and that is the visitor center. You can get your maps. Uh, you can get your passport stamps here. You'll see that. Um, I walk past the little area. So, as in terms of any accessibility, they do have a ramp over here. Um, you just follow the sidewalk around, and it's under that tree there. Um, it's easy to get inside the visitor center, as you will see. It's very easy. Um, they have a little cannon on display right here at the front. Do have a couple benches to sit down as well. So I'll leave all the links down in the description below. Um, it is free to get inside the area. There is no cost at all. They do accept donations as well. If you do want to help out the state parks in Florida. So right up here on the left, you have restrooms over there, and right over here is a map. It'll show you the whole Temequan area, which I do point to. <laughs> we are right there where I'm pointing currently. And then across the St. John's River is the whole Temequan area. And then right here is where you get your passport stamped. You have a, a junior program um, for scouts and stuff like that. There's the little maps, little uh, brochures and stuff. I'll give you a little history on it. And stay tuned to the end of this series. On the last video, I will give a whole history of everything. I'm just going, I'm just showing you guys everything. Um, you can pause the video here and read. It gives you a little history here too. Um, and there's a big history for inside the visitor center as well. And there's where you can get your passport stamped. The camera keeps flashing and I am sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. So they did have a bunch of little things on display in here. Um, I tried to do my best of showing you guys everything. So here you have more um, maps and things. I went ahead and grabbed another one. It shows you the Seven Creek, um, Seven Creeks in the area of the Timaquan Nature Preserve. So, this one here shows you the um, history. You saw the donation box there. 
Um, this starts talking about the life. Um, so you'll see all the animal life with high tide and low tide. And this was a nice little display. So you have the marsh as well. And then here shows you the food web of all the different creatures and stuff, what they eat on and what it takes to Like I said, I tried my best. Sorry for the flashing of the camera. And then, yeah, we got wetlands as well, which is the history beyond that. Of course, the preserve is a big wetland because of the St. John's River and parishes that lie in between. And Jacksonville is known for the shrimp and the oysters. One fun fact. <laughs> These are little artifacts that were found within the area. So this one was kind of hard to see. I do apologize. It's just the glare of the lights above. It starts talking about religion. They did have the, something called a black drink, um, which is the middle one. I guess it's known for the medicine and religious drinks. There's some more artifacts. Again, living on the water. Got a little sand dollar, some more artifacts. Tells you about the fish in the area. That there is what they use to transport everything across the St. John's River. And then you start talking about the history of the French and the wars that were involved here in Jacksonville, Florida back in the day. Got the Battle of St. John's Bluff, which I actually know nothing about, to be completely honest. <laughs> I'm going to do my research on that one. So more information on the French and the British as well. And I'm so sorry, everything looks weird on the camera. Um, it might look different for you guys, but for me... It's a little hard to read. And then you have, you have the colonization in the area too, La Caroline, which is the fort that this is made from. Spaniards again. And then you have the plantations that were around. And the next video, we I will be showing you one of the plantations. And then there's more history on the Temequans, the Indians, they're Temequan Indians. Not that this was a nice little photo area. I didn't take one, but I thought it was nice. And that is the main reason I didn't record my voice in here, because there were people, and I was trying to be a little more quiet. <laughs> And then, yeah, that is about the end of this little walking tour I did of the Visitor Center. do hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please leave a like on the video. And now we are walking towards the fort.
All right, guys. So, the, like I said, there's the restrooms over there with the green doors. You start taking the path to the right, and that leads you up to the fort. To get to the fort, it is a lot of dirt and rock. So, like I said, accessibility is not a strong suit for this specific fort. There are other forts in the area, um, and they are a lot more accessible. Alright guys, I'll leave you here to enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, sorry. Um, while we were in the visitor center, I just thought I'd do a little voiceover. But we are here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the view. I think right here is the highest point here in Jacksonville. And Jacksonville is actually really flat normally. So, And we're walking over to the fort now. This is this little fort trail, or French Memorial Trail. But yeah, let's take a look at that. The highest point is pretty cool. I enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to walk down this little trail here. It's very quiet. Isn't it? Very quiet here. So now we're in the wilderness. <laughs> Alright, I'm turning the camera around so you guys can see have these little steps here um, so as in terms of accessibility the only issue is I would say this area here that we're walking through um, I know my mother she doesn't really do too much in terms of trailing so <laughs> I don't know I guess it just depends on um, your accessibility needs. I have my uh, family here with me today, so she seems to be doing okay. I left her behind. Coming? Alright. <laughs> She's a little slow, so we'll go ahead and get going down here and take a look at this. If we get down here and there's too many people, I'm going to go ahead and go back to a voiceover, but for now we can keep talking. Mm. 
Wow. So I'm assuming the fort is to the right. A couple of areas so you can go to the right. We'll go up there. So yeah. Wow. I don't know how hard it is to read on here. Sorry if it is. Just sit here, pause the video, and take a look, see if you can read it. I think that would be hard to go back up. That's back to the parking lot. So yeah, we're going to keep going this way a little bit. So at the beginning, when we get here, uh, hopefully I have enough time, we're going to go, I'm going to talk about the history of everything and just get to see. So there's something this way. It looks like it's just a little, oh, uh, we can't go that way. <sighs> but... I guess it's like a pier, a little fishing pier or something. Got little seating areas here. What I like is a lot of people are starting to recycle more, so that's good. Right, so I did pick up some little brochures. Um, I like brochures you get to look at. All right, so right up here is the where a fort used to be. Um, I'm not sure if it's... They say they can't find the original location of the fort. From my research. <laughs> but yeah, there used to be a fort here. And we're getting there. What I like about Florida is you have all this moth. It looks beautiful. Yeah, right here is where the fort used to, or I don't think it's where it used to be, but they are able to recreate. Oh wow, you can go inside, that's pretty cool. So again, hopefully you guys can read these signs, if not, I'll kind of read what they say. You can zoom in a little bit. Pause the video and read. So there is a nature trail right there. I don't know if you guys want to watch me walk that. Probably not. <laughs> but we are going to walk, walk one of these trails one day. So I guess this is where they used to... Looks like a little fireplace or something. Huh. If there's anything inside. Little oh, sticks.
Is it nature? I don't know. No idea. So I just decided to go ahead and look at this nature trail. And after this, I think we're going to be done with this area. Um, we got more that I want to do, so this ain't going to be it. But let's take a look at this trail, see where it leads. I don't think we're going to do the full trail. <laughs> I just want to see where it leads. It is a beautiful day today, though. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is why. All right, guys. Um, I don't think I'm gonna walk the full trail. I left my family behind. <laughs> They're a little slow today, so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera here just for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna walk back to the car, and we'll see if we continue any more today. I mean, I know if there's an, another area I want to look at. It's uh, down the road. It's a part of the Fort Caroline area, so. But all right, guys, I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm here at the second uh, location. It is called Rebalt Monument or Rybalt Monument. Um, so there are a bunch of steps here to get up. I'm not going to do the steps. I'm going to show you both ways. First, let's take a look at this. It is a big hill getting up here. Big hill. <laughs> but you can pause the video and read. So, again, encouraging recycling. <laughs> um, so here are the steps. And again, if you do need accessibility, if you're in a wheelchair or whatever the case may be, there is a ramp here. So for right now, I'm going to go up the ramp. Um, I'm not in a wheelchair, but still, I just can't do the steps right now. And this is a nice little view anyway. <laughs> So, basically in the woods and I believe it was either Fort Caroline or it's this one that is the highest point in Jacksonville I believe it's this one so anyway I'm gonna stop talking now because there are some people up here so. wow yeah this is the highest point Wow. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, this is the highest point. Wow. There's a big drop down there. 
Anyway, we got some more of these. I will. You guys can pause and read. Again, I don't know how well it's coming out. And my battery is about to die. So I don't got much time. <laughs> I'll let you pause and read. And you got this one too. And then again, here is the monument. So I'll let you pause and read, if you guys can. Sorry if it's not coming out too well. I can't really tell from this camera. Again, pause and read. But yeah, this is the area here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, there's some more areas around across the river in the next part so again um, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did leave a like leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe all right i'll see you guys in the next part